you called a timeout. I think it was 8.33 left. Your lead had gone from 30 to 24, so obviously you're not in danger zone. But I know you don't like to call timeouts. Did you just feel there like you had uh, something to say? Or what, what was what was the reason for the timeout? What did you say to him? Yeah, just defensively, um, you know, we, were, we didn't front the post like I wanted to. I didn't think we had the ball pressure that we wanted to. I thought we were just kind of – coming down offensively and not running all of our sets. Not, we didn't have poor spacing. Uh, we had called a couple play calls, and, and um, a different call was made on the floor than what the coaching staff had called uh, with our play card. And, and um, you know, just continue to try to talk to the players about play your minutes. Um, it's part of your resume. It's part of your individual resume, and it's also part of, part of uh, the Arkansas Razorbacks resume. So, um, you know, I don't call them any timeouts, but sometimes you have to have a teaching timeout. Uh, and I felt like we needed one right there. Did, did you feel good that the guys responded after that? You got the lead back out a little bit better? Yeah, I, I, I did, Bob. Again, I just, you know, I look at this plus minus and we're, you know, we're plus 33 with Justin on the floor. We're plus 30 with Connor on the floor, uh, plus 24 with Moses. And then you can you can kind of see the numbers because you guys get the stat sheet. Um, yeah, but I, you know, I thought we ended the game, you know, much better than we did um, around that eight, eleven minute mark, um, you know, midpoint of the second half. And just overall, how'd you feel? Like, like Chuck said, it was, you know, the scheduling change, and you know, you won the game. Obviously, that's the main goal. How'd you feel overall? I, I think, you know, I think a big thing is. Um, you know, like our young players are, are, you know, in a game like this, they got an opportunity to go out there and continue to gain a little bit of experience. Look, we all, we know when the SEC comes, like um, every minute of the floor, there's so many close games. And so we need to find out who our rotation is. Um, and in a game like this, we got a lot of people like, you know, the coaches go back and we're going to evaluate like, you know, Ethan Henderson went in the game, he played four minutes and he had two rebounds. Like, you know, does he play ahead of somebody else? I don't know. That's those are some of the things that that we're trying to, you know, figure out as as a staff. Um, you know, Debo. I mean, he he played really well tonight, and and in a game like this, he got minutes and he got an opportunity to play with some freedom, and allowed us to to evaluate, you know, multiple guys. Um, so I, you know, I thought it was good. I thought it served its purpose tonight, Bob, for sure. Dudley. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you talk a little bit about, you know, the freshmen come in, have played so many minutes in high school, how have they handled things, you know, just having to wait their turn? Yeah, they've, I think they've handled it great. I mean, Devo's, you know, just, I mean, he's just been phenomenal because, you know, he's, um, hasn't gotten the opportunity maybe as the other three. And, you know, Mo, I mean, Moses right now is one of our go-to guys. And, and um, you know, I, I think it's just, we're, you know, like with any freshman on any team in any sport, um, you know, you, you, you watch our quarterback. I mean, he, you know, I thought he played really good the other night. He got an opportunity. And, you know, first year, you know, you, you're learning. Uh, you know, it's, it's just a process for all of them. Um, you know, in, 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 all across the board, I mean, you can look at, you know, freshmen, uh, other SEC schools, other sports. It's, uh, you know, it can be kind of ups and downs and learning curves, and, uh, but they've all had great attitudes. Uh, yeah, Coach, you talk about the plus minus. Uh, Connor was, when he was on the floor, was plus 29 in the first half. Y'all were minus seven with him on the bench. What did you think about the impact he had on the game in the first half? You know, I mean, I, I, I like, I wish I could have, I wish I would have played Connor more because he was deserving of it, how he played. But I did want some, young, some of the younger guys to get some experience. Um, you know, but, but, you know, tonight when, you know, when I, go home, I mean, one of the things I'm going to feel for is he deserved to play more than 20 minutes regardless of the score, Hutch, because I he, he was phenomenal. I mean, he he didn't force shots. He had three steals. He had three blocks. Um, I can't say enough good things about, you know, Connor and his attitude, and he deserved to play more than 20 minutes. But, again, I was trying to get some people minutes that in a closer game, 
you know, Connor would have played more, I can promise you that, a lot more. Scotty. Hey, Coach Desi tonight saw several threes fall and played a pretty clean floor game with five assists. What you, would you think of his game? I thought Desi was great. Um, I really did, Scotty. I love the fact that he had five assists and no turnovers. Um, you know, that's been a big part of his evolution is, is to continue to be a combo guard and, and uh, learn some of the point guard stuff. He's obviously a two guard for us, but I think he's done a great job of continuing to transition and have a little bit more of a role as, 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 a, as a combo guy who can play the one and the two. Desi's attitude was great. There was a minute left in the game, and he was standing up behind the bench coaching and trying to get guys in the right position. Um, so there was a lot of really, really good little things. Devo was at the foul line late in the game, and we have an offensive rebounding thing that we do off free throws that we call free throw X. And Devo was the shooter and the free throw X is if you miss a free throw, how we go about trying to get an offensive rebound. And Devo was telling the players to X even while he was shooting. So I think there was some really good chemistry stuff. I thought Jalen Tate's attitude of keeping the team together and keeping them focused throughout 40 minutes was, was, was really good as well. Curtis. Hey, Coach, held those guys to 44 points tonight and 29% from the field. That's a, a few games in a row where you guys have held the opponent quite a bit under their season average. Where is this team at defensively, maybe compared to, to your expectations? I mean, I think that, um, you know, defensively, you know, they're really good this young in the season of executing the game plan and understanding the importance of trying to take the star player out of the game, which I thought we did a great job last year for the most part. Um, I've been a little bit concerned about, you know, getting a high hand up on shooters before the catch. A little bit, you know, worried about would we defend the three at the rate or even semi at the rate we did last year. I thought tonight we took a step in the right direction with that. Um, you know, and it's just about continuing, you know, to get, to get better and better. Bob? Eric, I think you've talked about this after the Mississippi State Valley game when Connor, or one of the games, maybe it was the second game, Connor didn't score a lot. But, you know, like you said, you don't have to score to help win games. You know, he only scores three tonight, but he's a plus 30, like you said. I mean, what, what does that say? And uh, what, what kind of teaching lesson can that be for the other guys? Yeah, like I said, I mean, the one guy, Bob, I mean, I should have played Connor more minutes, but I was, you know, when we got a lead, I didn't want – uh, to be able to evaluate some other guys, um, he's he's been he's 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 so important to us. You know, nine defensive rebounds in twenty minutes. Like his size changes the game, and he plays the right way. Like he's very very good offensively out on the perimeter of being a guy that can trail, make a three, throw and chase, run a dribble handoff, I, and I think the guys love playing. With Connor, I really do. I think the players love playing with him and love having him on the floor. And and Devo, a game like this, what can that what, what can this do for the confidence of a young guy? Well, I think this is great for Devo. Um, you know, when we talked about you know playing this game, you know, one of the, one of the comments that you know that I made when I was talking with the administration and so on was, you know, the the ability to uh, get our young players some experience in a game like this potentially, and. Devo has not flinched since the day he stepped on campus. It has not been easy for him. He's been behind a lot of players. He's slowly moving ahead of players because of his ability in practice to not flinch, to work. He's, a, he's not a good loose ball getter. He's a great loose ball getter. He should be an elite defender. He's going to continue to get better as a shooter. Um, He's not a point guard right now, but he's going to continue to work on that because um, playing the point in the SEC is, is not an easy thing. But his, his job tonight at the two and the three spot, he was as good as any player that played tonight. I can tell you that. Not only did he get his hands on loose balls, but he got deflections. He runs the floor and he can create off the bounce. But there's still, there's still a learning curve for, for Devo as well. Um, but I thought tonight was phenomenal for his confidence. And you could see his teammates were really, really excited 
um, to have him out on the floor. I'm good, thanks. Final question, Randy. Coach, what was the difference in guarding the three against the three ball? It seems like that's been an issue that you looked at from the very beginning. What was the difference tonight? Yeah, I just thought we had high hands uh, before they caught the ball, which is one of the things that in our shell defense we always talk about. Um, and I thought we didn't we, – we crowded them a little bit more. We weren't worried about – the dribble drive with some of the guys. Um, we took away airspace right on the catch. And, and um, I mean, it's going to be hard to duplicate what we did last year because we led the nation defending the three. So I, I don't necessarily think we have to do that because we're a different team. We have a different makeup. Um, but, you know, we would like to, to try to, you know, have opponents shoot the three ball under a little bit more duress maybe than what we've done up until tonight.